traders, let's go over the concept of absorption and exhaustion in the marketplace and how Bookmap visualizes it and how it can help you make more insightful trading decisions. Okay, so here's Amazon at the US Open, 9.30 Eastern time. We see initial drive down and then a move up and we continue to drive higher. Okay, we see massive amounts of liquidity here at uh, 1,000 and also at 9.99. And uh, on the way up, though, let's uh, zoom into these levels here at 97 and 98. Okay, we see longer term liquidity that stays in the book. It's been here waiting to trade and the traders take them on. They, uh, they are absorbed up here. All these limit orders at this level at 97 are absorbed. The traders took those limit offers. The, the aggressive buyers took the trade. Uh, and uh, you can see they did the same here at 98. In fact, uh, you can see that they started to add more limit orders into the book at 98 and all of the buyers took them on okay that's absorption and we'll see another example on the uh, on the opposite side here okay as i zoom out okay now we covered this during the live webinar today uh, because we're at such high um, all-time highs here with this thousand dollar level uh, interesting to see here in Amazon and uh, on the on the way down uh, we can see that there was some distribution up in this area here uh, and then look at the um, the opposite side here we noted uh, these areas here where they started to get aggressive in here but uh, on the way back down uh, look at the points here uh, and the retests up into some of these areas we're, we're seeing less trading take place uh, in in these uh, swings to the upside over here we see lots of trading take place and price was uh, absorbed or the limit orders were absorbed up here on the way down though uh, we can see that uh, nice big clusters of volume at lower lows and the swings to the upside here these lower highs there's very little trading taking place okay An example here here and here Okay. As we continue to move forward here uh, and zoom out, here is the opposite um, absorption here on the bid instead of the offer. We can see that uh, these traders at 92, 91, and 90, they all stayed in the book and they all were absorbed on the way down. We see huge transactions take place at these areas, taking all of the liquidity on the bid. Okay. So there's your, your examples of absorption here that you can see on both the upside and on the downside. And you can see uh, very clearly uh, the exhaustion on the way up, lack of trading at these little swings to the upside here, these lower highs. Understanding these areas of absorption and exhaustion can help you in your trading. And this is how. There are many different ways you may uh, want to buy the breakouts or the breakdowns uh, in specific areas or for example let's say that uh, you had gotten short up into this area up here around this 98 area due to changes in the order flow that we had witnessed during the uh, during the webinar today um, then uh, you'd be targeting some of these areas down here of high liquidity uh, in fact uh, we had uh, noticed this area from the 930 open uh, very high liquidity on the bid and this would be a target you can see it was hit and uh, you can see the reaction has had uh, this afternoon anyway that's that's one uh, possibility here uh, you can also look for pullbacks in areas of exhaustion and then trend continuation so let's say uh, you see the move to the downside and you're looking for a pullback up to perhaps where it broke from or slightly below it and you start to notice exhaustion well then you can get into the trade and look for um, continuation of trend to the downside uh, you might want to target just before and front run some of the high liquidity that you see here on the bid uh, there are, that's another way of uh, potentially using this information to your advantage 